Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Boxing was spread across the globe by British sailors and tradesmen and especially popular in the United States after the surge of British and Irish immigration in the 19th century. In 1867, the Queensbury rules were laid down and they introduced padded gloves, three minute rounds with a minute's rest in between, wrestling was outlawed and the 10 second knockout was introduced. Matches though continued to be fought to a finish. This footage from 1905 shows the world's first acknowledged heavyweight champion, Gentleman Jim Corbett, who won the title in 1892 from the bare knuckle legend, John L. Sullivan. The heavyweight title was held by several great names in this period, including James J. Jeffries and the Englishman Bob Fitzsimmons, until it arrived at the door of Jack Johnson, the first black champion in 1908. He was 30 before he was given a shot at the title, and he took it from Canadian Tommy Burns. White America became desperate at the idea of a black champion, and a former champion, James Jeffries, was persuaded out of retirement. Jeffries was humiliated by Johnson's frustrating cleverness, and after his defeat, the country erupted in violence. There were 19 deaths, thousands injured, and 5,000 arrests. The defeat of Jeffries forced Johnson into exile to Europe, where his extravagant presence always attracted onlookers. Johnson was hated not just because of his color, but also because of his refusal to conform to white morality. He had white girlfriends and wives. He dressed ostentatiously. He would take a walk through the park, drinking champagne while taking his ocelot for a walk. Eventually, he lost the title to Jess Willard in Cuba, claiming forever that he took a dive rather than carry the burden of being champion. <laughs> 